Nokia E90 lower block disassembly and assembly. You will need the Nokia Standard 2 Ocket version 2 and the SS81 camera removal tool. Remove the battery cover. Release this clip of the antenna cover with the SRT6 first. Now release the two clips on the side of the assembly. Release the clip located on the edge. Now the antenna cover can be removed easily. Pull up the flash gasket. Insert the SS81 into the housing of the camera module. Note the correct positioning of the tool. Gently push it down. The clips of the housing are released now. Lift out the camera module now. Unscrew these five Torx plus size four screws in the order shown. Discard the screws. Do not use them again when reassembling. Lever out the camera button. And the push to talk button. Open the assembly and lift the QWERTY cover. It is possible to remove the QWERTY K8 without unlocking the QWERTY cover. Carefully release the hidden clips of the QWERTY cover, located on the right side. On the middle near the logo plate. and on the left side near the hinge. After that, the QWERTY cover can be removed easily. Unscrew these four Torx Plus size 4 screws in the order shown. Also discard these screws. Do not use them again. Mind the hidden components underneath when opening the flex foil connector. The micro coax harness connectors are very delicate. Be double careful when releasing these two connectors. The engine module can be removed now. Unscrew this two Torx Plus size 4 hinge screws. Discard them. Do not use them again when reassemble. The upper assembly can be removed now. The antenna module can be removed. Unscrew these three Torx Plus size 4 screws in the shown order. Discard them, do not use them again. Remove the antenna IHF module. The disassembly of the lower block is now complete. Assembly. Note that the flash module is very delicate and becomes useless in consequence of mechanical stress. Replace the antenna IHF module. Take this new screws. And place them. Set the correct torque. Apply the correct torque to the screws in the order shown. Replace the antenna module.
Replace the upper assembly. Mind the correct positioning of the cables. Note, false placement will destroy the delicate micro coax cables. Insert the two hinge screws. Set the correct torque. Apply the torque to both screws. Place the engine module over the protected display of the upper part. Close the flex foil connector. Be double accurate while closing this two micro coax harness connectors. Check the correct placement of the cables before going on. Take these four screws and place them into their recesses. Set the correct torque. Apply the torque to these screws in the order shown. Replace the QWERTY cover beginning on the left side where the connectors are located. Close the clips. Check that no cables will be squeezed. Otherwise the dual axis hinge module becomes unusable. Insert the QWERTY K-Mate. Mind the correct positioning of the key mat before going on. Click the snaps into their places. Replace the camera button. And the push to talk button. Take these five new screws. Place them into their threads. Set the correct torque. Apply the torque to the screws in the shown order. Replace the flash gasket. Mind the alignment tab while replacing the camera module. Push it into its housing evenly. Mind the cleanness of the camera and window when replacing the antenna cover, beginning at the hinge side. Close this clip first, then the clip on the edge. followed by the two snaps at this side. The last clip is located close to the camera button. Click it into its place slightly. Replace the battery cover. 